Behind me, I've got an old bed, the footboard, the headboard, the mattress slats, the two side rails, and today we're gonna to repurpose this to make a bench. So we've got a little problem with the footboard. Um, as I was cleaning it up, this I noticed this leg was broken, and so it came, it just came off. Uh, we'll work around it. It's just one of those things you gotta, you know, a little, little setback, but we'll get through it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut 18 inches back from this post to about right here. And this will be my armrest on one side. Okay, so I, I cut this off. This was the footboard. So you saw me cut this, and now you can kind of see how this is gonna take shape. That'll be the armrest, and the seat will be somewhere in here. This is the front leg. But now I've gotta connect this part that I cut to the headboard post back here. And I'm just gonna do a round mortise and tenon. So I need to figure out the measurement from the bottom of my leg here up to where this will connect. So I'm just gonna measure from the leg that will be on the floor. It's about 23 and a half inches. 23 and a half inches is about right here. Now what I'll do is just make my cuts on this part and in the bed post. So now I just need to go to the bandsaw and I'm gonna cut away this round piece on the outside, which will leave this. All right, the next thing I need to do is trim off this front piece. This is what's going under the bench across the front. I just need to trim off each end to get it to the right length. I'm going to do that here at the miter saw. Okay, I've got a mortise and tenon here. I'm ready to glue that joint up. I've already pre-drilled a hole through my mortise to where I'll know on the back side where I'm at. Because I'm after I glue this up, I'm gonna put a screw in from the back side just to give it a little bit more strength. So that's what I'm about to do now. Okay, I took a piece of the side rail and cut it down to fit in between these two rails here, these two posts, and I put pocket holes on the inside, and now I'm going to install it here, and what this will hide is all the support for the seat. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Good stuff, huh? I bet, I bet, someone, I bet someone put their heads in there and squish it. And you keep that, huh? Uh, there's a blow in it. I blow it in there. Cheers. <coughs> Tap my glass. No, with your, with your bottle. That'll break. How did you drink all over here? I'm big. 
Yeah, he's old. I'm old. <laughs> what are you trying to measure? I hope. 18 inches? Okay. Okay, so basically right now, all I'm building is a box for support for the seats to set on. It's a piece of wood here on the inside, one here, and now I'm putting these dividers on the inside. I'm gonna drill some pocket holes in this uh, support so I can drill up underneath to hold the seat down so I don't have any screw holes in the top. Okay, now it's time to install the seat support. I have the supports for the seat installed. Also, I had to install a two x four across the back just gonna give you a, an idea of how it's gonna look. There's also another piece that will go back here. I've gotta cut it down. I want a little bit of an overhang on the front. So before I can install the seats, I need to notch around this post right here about an inch. Okay, I've got my boards cut down. I've got them notched out for the post. I'm gonna lay them in here like they go. And I'm gonna use the pocket holes to attach some screws in just to hold them in place. And then I'll lift the, the bench up on its side and finish putting in the rest of the screws. <laughs> 